welcome back to my channel of course this is indeed your girl tmac person if you're new here feel free to subscribe to my channel if you like what you see but if you're only but a goodie welcome back so guys today we will be talking about the time that i visited edenism too like guys if you don't know where that is you live under a rock literally because edenism too is one of the best all-inclusive resorts in jamaica it's located in negril okay so um it's a bit on the pricier side but trust me it is amazing there okay so first of all the first thing it has a nude side and it has a fruit side it's up to you which side that you want to be on so if you're going to be on a nude side you can't have on anything at all Okay, the only thing I think you might you might be allowed to take with you is a towel because we all need towels to dry off and whatever, but that's it. Okay, um, so first of all, I was working in Kingston as an office manager at the time. And my friends were like, you're so boring. Let, me, let us take you out. I'm like, oh, hi. So they said, okay, we're going on a road trip. And I'm like, oh, hi. So it was her and her man. Okay, so they drove and they drove. I'm like, what the hell? Where are they going? We keep driving like forever. Legit forever, y'all. Because it takes a while to get from Kingston to Edenism 2 in Negro. Okay, so anyways, when I did wake up, I was pulling into Edenism 2. Okay, so I just saw the name. At first, I did not realize that it was actually Edenism 2. And I'm like, holy shit, because I saw the signs inside. I'm like, holy shit, I'm at Edenism 2 because I've always wanted to go there. But I could not afford it, y'all, because it's really pricey. But since I was invited, I'm like, okay. And then again, I did not know where I was going. So that made it even more exciting for me due to the fact that, you know, it was a surprise and it was somewhere that I've always wanted to go. Guys, if you can afford to go there, I I at least suggest that you guys go there at least once in your lives. At least once, y'all. If you can afford it, just go at least once in your life. You will not regret it and you would want to keep going over and over and over again. Trust me. Okay, so we pulled in. It was racer night. Car racer night. So you wear like a racer suits and whatever and funny enough i was wearing a racer suit i'm gonna put a picture here of the actual outfit that i wore i'm gonna put a picture and they were like wow you came to um participate in racer nights and i'm like you know i was lost because of like what is she talking about because i don't even know what racer night is because they have theme nights and that's also another thing that makes it really, really exciting. They do have theme nights at Edenism too. So anyway, I told the girl like, no, I was not planning on participating in anything. I My friends dragged me here and I'm here. She's like, okay, cool, but you're wearing a perfect, you're, you're wearing a perfect outfit for tonight's theme night. Anyway, after going there, we went into the room. So I got a room separate from my friend and her man. And it was amazing because guess what, guys? They had a mirror in the ceiling, y'all. Like, that was legit. I can't tell y'all how many pictures I took that night of myself laying on the bed. Just snap, 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 snap. Because it was just amazing. So after getting settled in the room and everything, I decided... Okay, it's time for me to go get something to eat because I was starving because like I slept all the way to Kingston from I slept all the way to Negril from Kingston and we did not eat in the morning super because we left out early to get there early and everything like that. So I decided let me go um, get something to eat and let me tell y'all the food was amazeballs okay the food was amazeballs y'all like it was just simply amazing I could not have imagined it any any different like it's just perfect like that is what i've always imagined it to be they have food for everybody if you're vegetarian if you're fruitarian doesn't matter what you want to eat they have it all and when when i tell you that the meals are well cooked i mean the meals are well cooked okay all right so it was amazing it was an amazing experience the food was delish and they had ice cream so i did have some ice cream for dessert all right 
So that was the first night. So in the morning, they decided, okay, let's go to the pool. So, but first we had breakfast, we had some fruit. Well, I had some fruits and then I think I ordered a Jamaican breakfast. They, I can't remember what they ordered because it was a, it was a while back y'all. So anyways, after breakfast, we decided, you know, it's pool time. Okay, so it was full time and we took a towel and we had to wash off first before entering the pool. And when I washed off, like there were a lot of eyes on me and I'm like, okay, whatever. So we went to the nude side and we saw, I saw so many boobies, like, and they were all done. When I say done, I mean, they did surgery. It's obvious, but they look so good. Like even the men, you can see that some of them did a tuck tummy tuck and whatever but it's a non-judgmental zone type of resort so nobody judges anybody about how their body looks and whatever i know i know directly my body ain't perfect so i was really happy and comfortable knowing that you can be at a place where you will not be judged by having stretch marks or whatever you know so anyways i was there sitting down i went to because they have a bar in the pool section and they have a jacuzzi in the pool as well so it, it's it's a very beautiful place and then it had a waterfall section there so if you and your man want to go in there and do whatever nobody cares so i was sitting there having a strawberry duck cree and then two guys came with a girl and they were talking and because there were tables in the pool itself um they lifted her up put her in the pool and then they poured i can't remember if it was rum cream all over her body and both men started licking off her body i'm like oh hell yes because i'm like sipping and watching like uh-huh okay let me see Ooh, they went up to the boobies then it came back all the way down to the vajayjay and i'm like oh hell yes hell yes that's what i'm talking about but i wasn't being all this extra you know because i'm like mm -hmm. Slurping, I'm like, oh hell yeah! And she was there enjoying herself, moaning and shit. I'm like, yes. Now that's what I'm talking about. Anyway, guys. So after that, you know, they didn't get into any type of penetration at all. But that was it. Was very enjoyable to watch that. Anyway, guys. After that, there was my friend. She was sitting at the edge of the pool just relaxing you know leaning back enjoying the sun because they were not black people okay i forgot to mention my friends they're not black people they were german so she was sitting at the pool just laying back and whatever and there comes this mexican girl and yes i know she's mexican she told me she's mexican because she was talking to me in, in spanish she could not speak, speak english 100 percent so she did talk in spanish now and again and i did understand what she was saying and whatever so i responded back to her but anyway she was telling me that she likes my friend i'm like okay that's pretty cool you know because my friend was just there with her head back just relaxing enjoying the sun enjoying the warmth and everything and this mexican girl swam up to where my friend was sitting and she opened her legs and y'all that mexican girl had brunch okay she had dinner she had a feast and my friend was just like over the clouds her eyes were rolling like i'm like oh hell yes y'all i love that uh, you know i love that kind of shit like that's just straight up entertainment and i just had to be like oh my gosh yes and my, I, I was like, yes, yeah, you know, I was just, ex I was just excited and I was just enjoying everything that was going on. And then, um, there was, her boyfriend was sitting there just looking and just smiling, you know, he was enjoying the view because, you know, whatever. And like I said, everybody was naked, so it's neither here nor there, right? So anyways, after that, there was a, a older couple that was sitting at the poolside and they, the, the older lady she called me and i went over and she was like because she's british she's like hello good afternoon i'm like hello good afternoon and she's like you know i've been watching you and you look so beautiful can is it okay if my husband and i could pay you 500 pounds to stay with us for a night and i'm like what the what the hell do i look like a what do you call that a call girl or something like someone be like no no thank you or she's like 
Well, it's not too, it's, it's not enough. We could go up to a thousand pounds per day for you to spend a week with us. And I'm like, nah, no thank you, no thank you. And she looked a bit shocked as though she, they have done it before and gotten other girls or whatever, however it went. And she looked at me shocked and I'm like, okay, I'm not interested. I'm not some random girl you buy in whatever you get me you get what i'm saying y'all so i'm like no no thank you but anyway guys it was it is what it is um after leaving there we went to have dinner i think the place is called pasta Farai. it's also located at Edo, and they have different restaurants in the resort I went into pasta Farai. i can't quite remember if that's what's the name guys persons on here if you have ever went to edenism too can you guys please remind me of that restaurant I don't remember if it's past the far eye or not. Um, anyway, guys, so we went there. I did not wear any top at all. I just had on a little tongue. And it was okay. You just however you want. And I felt free with my body. I'm like, oh, I feel so good. I can go anywhere. Any I mean, persons were looking because there were prude people in the restaurant as well. But, you know, it was exciting and whatever. So, anyways, the next morning we woke up and... Um, we went to the pool side, we were having breakfast over by the pool side this time because that's closest to where the restaurant is. Um, yeah, so we sat down, we had breakfast and everything and then this half naked woman, she, she did not have on any bra. She was over at the pool side but she had on no bra but she had on an underwear and her boobies just look so round. They look like if you even touch them, they're going to pop, like legit pop right and i'm like whoa your breasts look so good and she was like thank you i just got them done like i don't remember how she said it was i don't remember how long ago she had said but she was like i just got them done and and i'm like okay they look real great it's just like do you want to feel them <laughs> wait did she ask me if i wanted to feel them yeah i was like this and when i squeeze them they were so firm like you know when you blow up a balloon way too much and if you squeeze it too hard it's gonna pop that's how it felt i'm like okay let me not be the one to disturb anything in your breast any type of silicone or whatever because i'm gonna have to pay for that shit so anyways um i asked her how much did you pay for that and she's like okay not much just like thirty thousand us dollars i'm like Oh, hell no. Okay. 30,000 US dollars. Because the thing is, she did more than one breast surgeries, guys. So that's... And she did some enlargements and whatever. So however it goes, it added up to 30,000. I'm like, oh, just that? And she was like, do you know if anywhere that does it a little cheap? And I'm like, no, that... 30,000? That's that's a good deal. And when I'm mine, I'm like, you fucking crazy. Me? Pay 30,000 US dollars get to get my breasts done. If y'all don't want my slippers, you ain't getting nothing, bruh. It's just that simple. But anyways, they were all nice people. They had game nights and like I said, they had theme night as well. I even did a dance off with some white girls. It was fun because everybody was cheering for everybody. Nobody was booing anybody. It was just amazing. Um, so guys, that is basically my story of visiting Edenism 2 for the very first time. It was amazing. I got invited. I felt very good. It was very relaxed. It was very, very relaxed, y'all. And I really, really, really loved it, y'all. So like I said, if you guys have never visited Edenism 2 before, I invite y'all to go there at least once in your life. If you're single, it doesn't matter. If you're a couple, it doesn't matter. Like, it's just amazing. All right, guys. So anyway, guys, this is your girl, Tia McPherson. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.